Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 21st of 2022, well, it is titled Messier 10 and Comet. So what do we see here? Well, in this image of the sky taken just a few days ago, uh, we see a comet known as one of the Pan Stars comets, and it is passing very close to the um, globular star cluster known as M10. Now, while I say that it's pa pa passing close to this, it's passing close to it on the sky. But of course, there are vastly different distances, which is something you don't really get in any astronomical image. It's very difficult to tell what is closer and what is further away. For example, when we look at the stars here, it's hard to tell. We know they're all not at the same distances. And you might guess that some of the brighter ones are closer and some of the fainter ones are further away. But that is not necessarily the case. Now we do know of course that the comet is a part of our own solar system and had just made its closest approach to Earth uh, the day before this image had been taken. Uh, it's going to be a nice to, nice comet to be able to view but it's going to need a telescope to be able to see uh, over the course of the summer. Now it'll be traveling uh, through the through the northern portion of the sky and it will never get super close to our sun. Uh, so it will never get incredibly bright as some other comets do. And in fact, it will remain out beyond the orbit of Mars. But it is a brand new comet with its first voyage into the inner solar system. So we don't know exactly what to expect from it. Now the globular cluster on the other hand is much further away. And in fact, it is a, a distance of 14,000 light years meaning that light has taken 14,000 years to reach us from that globular cluster. And that is, of course, much further away than the comet, comet being part of our own, own solar system, and at this point happened to be only about 15 light seconds away. Now a light year is the distance that light travels in a year, and a light second is the distance that, distance that light travels in one second. So while we see the comet as it was 15 seconds ago, we see the globular cluster as it was 14,000 years ago. So we get to watch and may see more images of this comet as it reaches its closest approach to our sun in mid-December. So that was our picture of the day for July 21st of 2022. It was titled M10 and a comet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.